If you're looking to brew kombucha, but you're not sure where to get a SCOBY, this video is for you. What's going on, my booch head friends? In this video, I'm gonna go over where you can get a SCOBY. So the first and probably the easiest thing is to get a bottle of your favorite kombucha and grow your own SCOBY. A lot of blogs and videos you'll see say to get raw kombucha, but you can still grow a SCOBY if it's not raw and if it's flavored. You know how I know that? because I've had hundreds of SCOBYs grow in a second ferment bottle. I'll link a video down below. It's one of my first videos where I grew a SCOBY using health aid kombucha, but you can use the same method for any type of kombucha, even if it's kombucha you get at your local farmer's market. Another place you can go to get a SCOBY is Amazon. I'm sure you can find hundreds of different SCOBYs. And your third option is right here. I am your girl. I'm your girl, and what I mean by that is I'm now selling my SCOBY. So I have a little story of where my SCOBY came from, and let's let's bring out the star of the show, shall we? Well, we have a couple here. Let's bring them all out. I don't name my SCOBYs. I know people do. If you name your SCOBY, would you mind sharing that in the comments? I would love to hear. Hey, hey, hey. This is my newest brewing vessel, pickle jar. Let's talk a little bit about the lineage of my kombucha SCOBY. First up is to know that all kombucha has a lineage, meaning where it came from. Some of them are really old and we may not ever know where they originally came from, but I'm gonna tell you the story of what I know about mine. So I bought it in 2015 off of a lady that lived in Nevada and it was advertised as a Tibetan SCOBY. Well, how cool is that, right? She had a little shop, she's no longer in business. She had a little shop and she sold what's called a Tibetan SCOBY. And the story is, and this is straight from the horse's mouth, mouth, <laughs> she sold teas and she dealt with lots of different tea merchants. Well, she came across one that she had worked with that had traveled through Asia because a lot of tea is from Asia and had um, came across this, this monastery where monks live and they had uh, their kombucha SCOBY and they shared it with this tea merchant. So as he was traveling around the U.S. and he met up with this lady, he shared it with her. So that's how it got the name Tibetan SCOBY or Tibetan Kombucha. Is the story true? I don't know. I would like to think it is because I don't know why she would lie about it. But let's talk about the quality of this Kombucha SCOBY. The first thing is it is it takes a lot to get this SCOBY or Kombucha to sour. So all Kombuchas are different and all of them have different strands of probiotics as well. And to find out which ones your, your kombucha has, you'd have to get it tested. Sourness. This, it takes a lot of time for this to go sour. I usually say I, I do my brews for 12 days, but it's actually more like 14 or 15 days. And it's not, it's not very often that it turns sour. So I want to give you an example. Healthy kombucha. I mentioned the video that I showed you how to grow a SCOBY from healthy kombucha. I don't like healthy to me it's way too sour i don't really like that I'm not saying anything bad about the company it's one of the biggest kombucha companies in the united states and a lot of people love them just for me personally i don't like the flavor but their kombucha is too sour so after i grew that scoby and i brewed a batch of kombucha i was like this is gross why did i even pick this when i don't even like it my kombucha is very mellow so i've even heard people because this was a big thing this tibetan scoby about five or six years ago um, have even went up to 20 days and I've went past 14 days without it turning sour. So to me, that's a really big quality that I want in my kombucha and my kombucha SCOBY. The other thing I want to mention is that the way kombucha and all ferments work is, so you have your bacteria and yeast, right? But it's also going to pick up the yeast and bacteria that's in the air. So whatever SCOBY you originally had when you bought it or when it came to your home is going to change a little bit as time goes on. I wish I would have saved that original SCOBY she gave me, but somewhere in the mix of the last seven years, six years, I, um, whatever, I, I lost it. I accidentally tossed it. That is the story. I'm not selling it as a Tibetan SCOBY just because for one, she asked me not to. And to me, I don't consider it that anymore. It's just the lineage. I know where it came from, which I think is fabulous. Like how cool is that to know where your kombucha came from? But it's just going to be a kombucha list SCOBY. And my business name is actually Kombucha Bliss. Check out my store in the link below. 
I also have t-shirts that I'm selling and I soon will be selling SCOBY candy. So if you're interested in that, check out the store. If you have questions about growing your own, please leave me a comment and I will totally do my best to help walk you through that. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to pop, pop, pop. Ready? That like button. And as always, my dear kombucha friends, I'll see you in the next video.